This is a short plumbing trade calculation video on how to find the fitting allowance for a given black mamba iron fitting. First up, we have to know a couple of things, um, like the fitting itself. In this case, in this picture, we have what's known as a 90 degree fitting. And a fitting is simply a thing that joins two pieces of pipe together. And in this case, it's allowing the two pieces of pipe to change uh, degrees, direction by 90 degrees. When we're trying to find our fitting allowance for a black metal iron fitting, we have to know a couple of things. First of all, we have to understand what the FA is. The FA on the diagram here shows you it starts at where the pipe stops or ends when it gets into the fitting. And it's that empty space from there all the way over to the center line of the other outlet of the fitting, the 90 degree fitting. That is known as your fitting allowance. We'll need to know this in order to find our end to end pipe or otherwise known as our actual cut piece pipe because most of our measurements go from center of fitting to center of other fitting. So we might need to do a little subtraction. The thread engagement, the thread engagement, otherwise known as a TE, it starts from the face of the fitting where the pipe enters to where the pipe stops inside the fitting. That distance is known as the thread engagement. Lastly, the face to center measurement or the FC is known as the measurement from that same face where the pipe enters all the way over to the center line on the other side of the, of the FA where the FA ends. And that is known as the face to center measurement. If you have noticed on the picture, you'll notice that the FC distance at the bottom includes the TE and the FA at the top. That means that there are three pieces to the pie, as they would say, and all we need is two pieces to find the third piece. So the first thing when we're trying to determine the FA is we need to know the face to center measurement. So we need to know it by either measuring the fitting ourselves, getting our measuring tape right on the face of the fitting and measuring over to the center line of the fitting and the other outlet side, or we can get it off a uh, manufacturer's table. Sometimes the manufacturer's table will provide us with our face to center measurement and it all depends on the size and type of fitting that we're using because it will vary from 90 to 45 to T to um, other types of fittings and other types of nominal pipe sizes. And remember, nominal pipe sizes are our trade sizes. Once we have that measurement, whatever way we got it, whether we measured ourselves or got it off a uh, manufactured table, our second step then we need to get the TE or the thread engagement. In order to get that, we need to know what the nominal pipe size is for our fitting. Okay. and our MPS, nominal pipe size. And that's also known as our trade size, the size it's sold as. So just to recap, uh, nominal pipe size is just a trade size. It's not the actual inside or outside diameter. It's somewhere probably in between in some cases, and it's a more even um, number. Okay, So um, if you've ever been gone to the hardware store and, and tried to buy a piece of wood, a 2 by 4 if you measure the two sides, the four side and the, and the two side, you'll notice that the, they're both slightly smaller. So the, the four side is probably three and three quarters and the two side may be one and three quarters, let's say. So it's not actually two by four. That's just the trade name that they post up in the store. So when you go to buy it. Once you know what the MPS is or the trade size is, then we need to look at the American standard data, uh, pipe thread data table to determine what our, our TE is, or, or thread engagement. The American Standard Pipe Thread Data Table is a table that's been already produced for us, if you want to say it that way, um, that we has already been predetermined what our thread engagement is going to be. So if we look at the table on the left-hand column, which says nominal denominator in inches, otherwise known as the MPS, or trade size, if we go down to half inch and we slide over that same row all the way to the very far side under engagement when tight otherwise known as the thread engagement it lets us know that half inch pipe 
threaded pipe steel pipe will engage in the fitting by a half inch so the thread engagement will be half inch um, and it also has a metric conversion of 10 millimeters as well uh, but normally we will work in the imperial measurements when we're doing our measurements and doing our calculations so it's better to just know the half inch instead of the 10 millimeter again if you had a one inch pipe a one inch pipe will have a thread engagement of 11 16 of an inch so this is how we have to read it so we have to know get our face to center measurement by either reading it or getting it off a table manufacturer's table who made the uh, fittings once we determine that, then we need to get our thread engagement. And our thread engagement, we need to know our nominal pipe size. So we can go to our American Standard Pipe Thread data table to get that measurement. Once we have done that, we got the face to center. We take the face to center and we subtract our thread engagement. Our thread engagement that came off the American uh, Pipe Thread data table. Our face to center was our measurement that we either measured ourselves physically by measuring from the face to the center of the other outlet, or we got off a, a manufacturer's table. So we take our face to center, we subtract our thread engagement, that will give us our FA. Otherwise known as our fitting allowance.